Okay, we're gonna talk about planting some lettuce. Now it's, let's say August 24th in North Carolina, still a little bit hot. Uh, the garden centers are just starting to bring in the lettuce and I'm risking planting it a little early, but I thought I would. Uh, so I'm gonna try. Now I've showed you that I've already I pulled up my pumpkin plant and I compost in place so I have not planted anything in this particular section right here uh, for a while so the weeds are kind of bad I've been letting this lay here and decompose a little bit so I have here through the years now I went to uh, Lowe's and I bought some topsoil and then some mulch so I thought I would just try that because I have uh, some kitchen scraps that I've been saving I've left them in the refrigerator and they're probably gonna be stinking because they've been in there for about a month uh, my mom has a spare refrigerator and I just leave them in there till I need them if I know I'm gonna be building a bed and if you can uh, you can leave them in there. I mean, it, they're going to decompose. It's gross for a minute, but anyway. So, you can take the no-dig method. You need to do, you know, browns and the greens. It's kind of like composting. And I'm not going to be able to show you everything hand-to-hand -hand because I, I'm holding my phone. But I have some cardboard here, and you can use newspaper. Uh, Sometimes I get a bucket and wet it, but since I'm holding my phone, I'm just going to try to to not josh you around. I'm going to lay my cardboard down, and then I'm going to get back with you. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Now, I've laid down my cardboard, and normally I'm, I'm getting a bit tired and I because I've been running all day. Uh, I mostly want to try to stop some of the weeds here at the edge because this is fairly a new area for me so I normally would wet this before I lay it down and lay more newspaper and all that but I've let this pumpkin vine lay here for a couple of weeks and been breaking down so I'm hoping that that's killed some of the grass it was pretty big if you remember and this area here I had layered it a couple of years ago and I'm still gonna have to put some mulch down because uh, some weeds pop up here and there but I've extended the bed out I extended it out here a little bit and this is the peppers my phone had run hot I'd laid I had peppers here last year now I laid I pulled peppers up that were still on the vine I mean on the, the plant last year in the fall and it, and just left them and laid them down on the ground and put some mulch and dirt over it and then all them peppers come up by themselves I did not plant any of those peppers so all right now I'm hoping I explain myself okay I mean really I need to have more newspaper down more cardboard down but I'm just kind of trying to do this short, so you want to wet it. And it's best you can wet the ground before. You can break the ground up before if you're starting new. Uh, but uh, I'd already had something here a couple years ago, so I'm not starting totally fresh. So I've already had my pumpkin vine laying down. Now I'm putting some brown down. I'm going to wet it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm hoping I don't lose you because my phone has been running a little hot and I don't know why. So, I've been saving these kitchen scraps. We're probably gonna have, woo, I got science, here, science experiment in here. Look, I got mold going on because I've had uh, all kinds of crap in here, but I seal it so it don't stink in the refrigerator, but when you open it up, it might smell a little bit. I got mold everywhere, and it, it's a little funky when you, you're laying it out. I, I'll admit it. But I've had all kinds. I got cantaloupes, onions, 
uh, bananas. Uh, but this is going to break down coffee grinds, uh, grapes, whatever you got. No dairy and no meat. So, so I save these because normally I don't have enough. Now this one's not as gross. This one's okay. I eat a lot of cantaloupe, as you can tell. So anyway, I lay these out. I try not to touch it, especially when it's gross. I just lay out whole bananas. Eggshells, tea. And so that's why I have all kinds of stuff coming up in my compost. Now this one is the freshest one. This is from this week. And I just save stuff for a week and then dump it. So I have me a honeydew and all kinds of crap. So this is going to feed my lettuce and I don't have to fertilize anything. So I don't want to really touch any of this. I'm going to touch this banana. There goes my potassium and all that stuff. So I'm going to put you on pause and lay down some topsoil and then we'll come back. Okay. I've laid down four bags of topsoil on top of my kitchen scraps. So they were 40 pounds each. So that's 160 pounds of dirt. And it went pretty far, but I did this pretty thick. I could have spread it out thinner, but there's a lot of weeds here on the edge. And I didn't lay enough cardboard down. So uh, I wanted to, you know, try to keep the weeds out. Years ago, I used to get topsoil just almost as mulch. Uh, it's cheaper than mulch. You know, it's a dollar forty-nine instead of two forty-nine. It's a dollar cheaper. Uh, if you have good soil, I mean, it it acts as a barrier against weeds. So I used to use it when I didn't have the money to get mulch. I would get topsoil. And where I lived before I moved in with mom, I had the blackest dirt that you can imagine. I mean, I had stuff growing like crazy. So I had forgotten that I used to do this. So I'm gonna try that, try this here. So I'm gonna, I've got to get me something to drink. So I'm gonna take a break and get me some water. Then I'll be back. Now, I'm hoping my phone's gonna hold out. I know we was at Lowe's. Let's see, I bought this romaine. I probably shouldn't have, but I'm going to, uh, it, it's looking kind of pitiful now. Let's see, I got some romaine. Uh, and what you do, it need, they need water and bad. They, they're drooping over. I've got them out of the heat, but uh, if you get a, you know, vegetable that's distressed you know get the outer leaves especially on lettuce this is going to perk back up when it gets some water I haven't watered it yet I'm going to so I'm going to get the outer leaves here pick them off because you don't want this dead stuff on here uh, this needs watering bad and I might lose a couple I was just wanting to buy some lettuce. I was at Lowe's and I was doing a video and I wanted to buy some lettuce. So pick off the outer stuff that's bad. See, these are a whole lot more healthier. A couple of them broke. Probably in my travels, you can break that off. Save that. I'm going to throw that in what I'm planting. And then I got some red leafy lettuce. And, you know, just make sure that none of it is got any little uh, bad leaves pick them off so I'm gonna save those put them in the ground so I'm not gonna plant all this here but I'm gonna distribute this out and I'm gonna take some back to the house uh, so I'm gonna get to planting I can't uh, plant and show you and hold my phone so after I plant then I'll try to explain what I I done be back in a second 
Okay, I did want to show you real quick. Um, I, I told you I, I, I picked off all the, the bad leaves or the best I could. Now, this one, uh, I might lose a couple plants on this one uh, lettuce pack because it wasn't that healthy when I bought it, but we'll see what happens. It might come back out. Anyway, uh, if your plants are dry when you get them, um, and I watered these this morning. I've been watering these. I've had these for a few days, and they're real healthy. If they're dry in the packs when you buy them, make sure you give them a good soaking before you start planting them. And then that'll help them perk them up before you plant them. And then hold on, I'll be back this second. Okay, now, uh, I bought six romaine heads, and there was like two plants in each pack well there was two plants I had two more let's see four more plants than I expected I bought six plants but there was like two plants in one pod or the the slot so that's a bonus for me so I got one two three four I got six plants here but at my mom's and and then I've got two to take back to the house. So, and what I do, these little things in the packs, you just take your finger, push up on them, and the dirt will push up on that. And you'll, if the plant is root bound, just kind of uh, break up the roots. And now you can see some of these look kind of puny because uh, I have stripped off the outer leaves. Now, uh, I'm gonna wet these just a little bit. Uh, I've already watered the, wet the dirt a little bit. I've, I wet it, I push the plants down in the dirt, and then when I get everything planted, then I'll give it a really good watering, but that's kinda just my technique. So then we're gonna get back to the other lettuce. Okay, now, let's see, got my, Red lettuce snails, whatever that's called. I've grown it before. And I, I got these planted. Just saying I'm throwing all the bad leaves. And I, the, I'm gonna cover that up with some uh, more dirt or uh, either mulch. I've got these planted kind of close. I don't go by guidelines because square foot garden, ning, you, uh, you just kind of can't do that sometimes. So, I think I'm going to have to get some more dirt. I don't think I'm going to have enough dirt. So let me get my other lettuce done and then we'll probably go down to the compost pile. Okay, and I got all my lettuce planted and I'm going to plant here at my mom's. And the other little pieces, that's just stuff that I've tore off the other plants. So I got, uh, let me see from my shadow, uh, the sun, because it's afternoon. Here we go. It's a better shot. There's my lettuce. Now I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna take it down to my compost pile and see what I can find. I don't know if I got any compost. I'm gonna at least try to find some worms that will decompose uh, what I got in there. So get me a bucket. Now, last spring, not this spring, but last spring when I first started. Oh, it feels good down here. It's nice and cool down here because, whew, it's nice and cool down here. Oh, and the trees, and it's hot right now. Whew, needed some break. It's kind of messy down here, so you just have to kind of overlook it. Because this is just kind of like my work area, and a lot of leaves fall. Uh, I haven't been keeping this up too good, but anyway, we'll we'll see what I can find. Um, but last year when I first started, I had lots of good compost in the fall. I started in the spring last year, and then come fall, I had compost. Now, when I started, I started composting in place, so uh, it saved me. Cause this is a good little ball. And I'm in my early 50s now, so I can go and go and go, but I get tired after a while. 
it's kind of my time to start winding down so this is my little pitiful compost pile it used to be heaped up and i've just used everything so i had uh i put a pumpkin vine down here i'm gonna see if i can find a little bit of stuff now it's healthy i had started it and uh you know did the browns and the greens it's got lots of good worms anytime i find a worm i throw it in here and uh i'm gonna see Let's see what we got going on in, in here i don't know if you can see it's not soft like it was last year because it really hasn't broke down uh get back in here uh, I had uh, fed them my worms I feed my worms I got happy worms they know that I had a whole cantaloupe down here like uh, last week I put that whole cantaloupe down there now they they've been eating on it or something has so I didn't tear it up I just let all the critters and whatever eats and tears up stuff I just I feed them whatever you know so they they've been breaking it down so, uh, so oh look at that one good lord he was fast I told you I got worms in here he almost like a snake little baby they are fast in the summer I'm telling you they, I tell you, I got happy worms because I feed them. Now, this is not broke down good, but they've been breaking it down. It's got some worm castings in it. Like I said, you seen that big old booger in here? I bought some Canadian fish worms put in here. And because I didn't have enough worms, and I don't know if they multiplying, but boy, that was a big and that one like a snake. So you get down here in the bottom, and it's still moist. I, I watered it a couple weeks ago, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of that down here in the bottom because all the good stuff settles down at the bottom. And I'm hoping that I have some. Uh, of the good bacteria the 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 guys that break all the stuff down you know all the decomposers uh i'd like to find that big old worm but i got me a little worm in there uh he's too quick for me uh, they are quick in the summer they like snakes and i'm gonna throw i'm gonna throw a little bit of these leaves in here a lot of times when i make a bed i I take and just throw a whole bunch of leaves and everything and whole thing. But right now, I haven't uh, got any leaves right now because the leaves had not started falling. So, anyway, I'm going to get gloves. I just get down here. I like to feel it. And uh, sometimes I got some baby worms and uh, decomposers in there. So, I got, I, I got some healthy soil. I know I do. Uh, they've been doing me right. So it just feels uh, nice and cool. So I'm gonna, since I use that topsoil, I'm gonna throw some of this on that topsoil. Now I probably, I need to put some more dirt on my lettuce. I didn't have quite enough dirt. And uh, let's see, I wanted to find that one. I don't think I'm gonna find him. He's undug down in there. But anyway. I'm going to pause you for a minute. Hold on.